Let's get yeah. famous, somebody get the camera YouTube, listen, watch it get to Alabama Hey sports fans, Kavita Shanae here with a special edition of First Down and Dirty. We're on location in Gainesville, Florida with Florida football star Trey Burton. Really excited to have you today with us, Trey. How you feeling? Great, how you doing? Good, how was your workout? It was so hard, I didn't even sweat. Really? All right, well, you're gonna sweat downstairs. Bring it down and dirty, you ready? Let's go. Let's go. So Trey, before we get down and dirty, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about your childhood. And your grandfather, Lawrence Burton, he was an Olympic sprinter, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. And he played pro ball for the Saints and the Chargers. Yeah. Did he have any influence on you wanting to play football? Uh, not really, because uh, he was so far away. He lives, he lives in California, and I live in Florida. So okay. not really. It was more like my mom wanted me to play football, and I always wanted to be out playing with my friends, and they always play football. So. Okay, so when did you decide that football wasn't a hobby and you wanted to make it a career? When I was five. When you were five? That's my first, first time playing football and I never wanted to stop. Really? Okay, and at what point did you decide that you wanted to play at Florida? When I was probably like six or seven, because that's when I chose Florida as my favorite team. And really? So you were making some big executive yeah. decisions at a young age, right? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you're in Florida, and last year you had the opportunity to work with former Florida coach Urban Meyer, and he was quoted with saying that you're one of the most versatile players that he's ever signed, and that the Gators hit a home run by recruiting you. How does it make you feel? Uh, it's, it's honoring, you know, humbling, uh, especially coming from such a great guy like Coach Meyer. And, yeah. Um, it, I'm thankful for the opportunity he gave me. He also said that your football IQ is off the charts. What do you think he meant by that? He meant that I could play a lot of positions, you know, and I can pick up on football stuff like trans translating from high school to college a lot easier than normal kids. And that's not common? I guess not. <laughs> <laughs> now, this year you get to work with an extremely passionate and excited to be a Florida Gator coach Muschamp. What can you tell us about his coaching style? He's a real up-tempo guy. He's a screamer, and he brings a lot of energy to the team. You don't need earplugs no, when you're practicing? No, no, no. no, no. no. Not he's, that bad. he's over on the defensive side, <laughs> but you can hear him screaming from the offensive side. <laughs> okay. And uh, describe your relationship with Coach Muschamp. He's a, he's a real good guy. He's not around a lot right now because of recruiting and he's on trips and doing all this stuff. But he's he seems just like one of the players on the team. Yeah. Well, Trey, last year you had an amazing year as a freshman, okay? And who could forget your six-touchdown performance against Kentucky at quarterback, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. What do you want to tell your fans going into the next season? Because you're not playing quarterback this season, right? Well, uh, I mean, I'm doing a little bit of everything. Right, okay. What do you want to tell your fans? That, uh, I mean, just look for a team that's going to play hard and uh, that has a lot to prove. Let's talk about your brother, Clay Burton. He's younger than you. He's a freshman. Yeah. He's a little bit taller. And he gets to play on the same team as you. You know, how does that make you feel, playing with your brother? It's like playing with your best friend. Like, you take a kid from back home, you know, who you hang out with every day, you're with every day, you talk to every day, and having them come up and play football with you. Okay, so if you guys were in a wrestling match, who would win? I would, I would win. Every Who's time. more competitive? I am. Who got a higher SAT score? He did, by far. Who makes better donuts? Uh, I say we, I mean, for him being a freshman, he makes pretty good donuts, so I guess <laughs> we right. both make the same, uh, is that, if that's possible. Okay. What does your mom think about having two boys that play football for Florida? It's so much easier for her, especially my whole family, you know, not having to travel anywhere else. Because you're, you're close, right? Venice yeah. is close. Yeah, it's about two and a half hours. Okay. Let's talk about, this is a question I like to ask everybody that I interview, okay. right? Yeah. So let's pretend you graduated. Yeah. And if not for football, what would you want to do? Own my own business. Like what kind of business? Selling something, probably like being what? sales. Car wash, restaurant, what? My uncle owns his own business in Atlanta, so hopefully I can go join him up in Atlanta. Okay, that sounds cool. I believe in you. <laughs> now, okay, we got the serious stuff out of the way. Now I just kind of want to talk about your Twitter, okay? okay? Your tweeting, yeah. because I'm, I follow <laughs> you on Twitter. And, okay, let's just get out of the way that you're extremely good looking. I'm talking Tom Brady, Mark Sanchez good well, looking. thank you very much. Right? There's a new hottie on the scene, guys. Watch out. But, and I'm sure that there are only people are following you on Twitter probably because of your football skills. Nothing mm -hmm. to do with your good looks, Yeah, right? of course, yeah. yeah All right. Exactly. <laughs> so we've had a lot of people ask us, what's up with you and the making donuts every morning? Five in the morning, you're making mm -hmm. donuts every day like clockwork. Yeah. Right? Every, every morning before 6 o'clock. Yep. What's up with that? It's a little thing that we have going with the team, you know, and everybody okay. wants to know what it is. and. No one will ever find out. Maybe unless, you'll tell us like later, right? Maybe? If you got to be in a tight circle, you know, and okay. if you're not in a tight circle, I, I probably can't tell you. Okay. 
Yeah. Don't tell me because I'll tell our yeah, viewers. Yeah, of, of course. Yeah. Right. Uh -huh. But you don't eat the donuts because you look very, you know, fit. Every once in a while. Every once in a while. Okay. Yeah. Well, Trey, uh -huh. we have a surprise for you. Okay. We've enlisted the help of Gator Girl for Life. Okay. Yeah. Radio personality Jen Soko, aka Soko on the radio. She's gonna test out your donut making skills, uh -huh. right? Yeah, because let's do it. you deliver the goods on the field, uh -huh. but we wanna see if you can deliver the goods in the kitchen. Let's do it. You ready? Yes, ma'am. All right, let's go. Let the gators out, boys. Yeah! Let's get famous. Yeah. Let's get yeah. famous. Somebody get the camera. YouTube, this and watch you get to Alabama. What's up? This is Jim Zoko at First Down and Dirty. I'm here with Mr. Trey, Twitter man himself, Trey Burton, Florida Gator. And uh, you're always talking about making donuts at 5 o'clock every day? Every day. Even church Sundays? Uh, that's on a, so you get a rest day, you know. Okay, okay, gotta have that day of rest. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. teach me what this making donuts is all about, because I'm assuming this is what you mean. Yeah, okay, well first okay. off, you Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. actually, let me get you situated. Okay, I don't yeah. want you to be too, get you too, dang tall. All right, there you go. Can we get you a little tie in action here? You got me, you did it right. Oh, this looks so cute. Is this the first time you put an apron on? Yeah, I, I didn't even really know what this was. <laughs> to be honest with you. All right, so okay. first off, what you do is you wash your hands. Okay, hold on. Are you on a diet? No, I only like chocolate though. <laughs> Not too bad. Okay. Not too bad at all. And Good then uh, you come over here to the Easy Bake Oven. That's a, a microwave. AKA the microwave, yeah. Okay. okay. Open it up. Put the donut in there. How long does this go on for? So usually on all microwaves, I have settings, and uh, I usually do the popcorn. What's yeah. up with the mod black? You guys are like have a bromance starting. He's my boy, you know. Ever now since is it a competition or is it a bromance? Both. On Twitter, it's like bam, 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 back and forth. We try, we try to uh, to mess with each other a lot. You know, we like to we like to laugh and we try to make our fans laugh. Did you pick problems. on him for being short, right? All the time. And what did he pick on you for? He doesn't really have too much to pick on me for. I mean, I guess that Is he, you're perfect. I mean, no. oh my god, <laughs> one of those, one of those. <laughs> he messes with me about uh, him being able to lock me up. He mm. plays defense. And okay. Defense. So. But what never, about uh? Um, I have a question, John Brantley. You yeah. love the way he dresses, right? Oh, it's it's unbelievable. What's his favorite outfit that he wears? I like the polo with the gym shorts. Would you rather watch Swamp Studs or To Catch a Predator? Ooh, that's a tough one. <laughs> I would I would have to say Swamp Stud because my boy Wilk, Wilk's a cute. Would yeah. you rather Aaron Andrews, Jen Brown, or Kavita Shanae? Ooh, that's that's a that's a nice little trio right there. I might have to go with my all-time favorite ever since I was a little kid, Aaron Andrews. <laughs> oh, what? Wait, wait, wait. Rewind. What'd you say? Hold on a second. <laughs> Uh, what do you say? Uh, Kavita. Yay! Mine too! <laughs> Actually, it was a trick question because they're all our Gator girls. Yeah, they're, they're all, all Gator guys yeah, and they're yeah, amazing uh, when it comes to sports. Mm -hmm. Alright, so what are we doing now? Now, uh, it's over. It's done baking. I love chocolate. That's nice. <laughs> Real nice. Are you going to take it home? Probably. Are you going to tell your mother the other woman baked for you finally? If I don't eat it before I go home. Yeah. Okay, okay. All right, so we've been making donuts with Trey Burton. Appreciate coming by with First Down and Dirty and uh, Kavita Shanae. What do you think? Oh, I thought you were doing something over there. So, anyways, can I get one last thing from you? Um, go get us. Let's get famous. Yeah. Let's get famous. Somebody get the camera. YouTube, this and watch you get to Alabama. So, Trey, I mean, everyone is comparing you to this guy that I, I want to talk about for a second because, I mean, it's like over and over. Every time I read an article, they're like, you know, oh, talking about this guy and you both are really hot and you both are really good at what you do. You both are, you know, top performers, have so many fans and you both love what you do, so much passion. But I'm so you talk, sick of... You talking about Tim Tebow? Tim Tebow? Is talking about the Twilight guy, Channing Tatum? Uh, Who tells you like, <laughs> compared you to Tim Tebow? Man, I get it all the time. Oh no, I, I wasn't even going there. I didn't even pop in my head. Uh huh, but. <laughs> Here, you like chocolate, right? I love chocolate. Open your mouth. Just open your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. 
I thought I was gonna like spurt like like projectile. You want some? Oh, oh, ah, oh my gosh. <laughs> My little brother is wearing it. <laughs> this is what I call VIP seating. All right, Trey. Okay, I think you've had enough. Trey, it's like Trey. Okay. Trey taught me how to do that one. Yeah, well, diamond. Oh, look at that. Oh, she could throw a real ball. All right, that's a wrap. Go get this. Oh.